morning, everybody. I'm Mary Love, and welcome to Country Living. Today, I decided I was going to try to make something for the very first time. Yeast donuts. Who don't like a yeast donut? I love them. I can't eat that many of them. I ain't supposed to eat any of them, but yeast, sometimes you just can't help yourself. So, I'm going to try my hand at making some today. And if I get them made in time, I'll take them to my husband's job and let them try them and see what they think about them. So let's get down here and get some stuff in this bread pan because I'm going to make the dough the easy way. I'm going to use my bread machine. Let it do all the work. All right. Now, let's move this thing out of the way. Move this down here. This recipe calls for, oh, I got to warm this milk up right quick. Let me just stick it in the microwave for a few minutes or a few seconds. Let me put you guys on hold until I get this milk heated up. All right, I heated my milk up. You want your milk warm between 105 and 110 degrees. And it takes a one and a fourth cups one and one fourth cup of milk. Let me find a little bowl to mix this egg up in. One egg, slightly beaten. No eggshells. We're going to just beat that up just a little bit. One egg, slightly beaten. It calls for a fourth of a cup of shortening or room temperature butter. I opted for the butter. I put it in the microwave for just a few seconds and I about got it to... So, we're just going to kind of spread this out a little bit in here. All right, there's the butter. A fourth of a cup of sugar. teaspoon of salt. Now this is a half a teaspoon measuring spoon, so we'll put two of these in there. Teaspoon of salt. Three and a half cups of all-purpose flour, which I have measured out right here. make a little well right here in the middle of it to put the yeast. One and a half teaspoons of yeast. And this is dry active or bread machine yeast. So there's a half. There's one whole teaspoon and one and a half. Now we're going to put this in the bread machine. Lock it down. Make sure it's in the lock position. Plug it up. <clears throat> and we're going to put it on number seven. And that's the dough setting. And now we're going to start it. And that's all there is to getting the dough ready to go in your bread machine. I got everything, milk, egg, butter, sugar, salt, flour, and yeast. So this is going to go for an hour and a half. And when it's done, we'll be back. Then we'll roll the dough out and we'll go from there. So y'all stick around. 
the beeper's going off on the dough. So we're going to unplug it. Ooh, y'all, look how pretty that dough rose. <gasps> Isn't that gorgeous? Let me get y'all down there where you can see it. Isn't that pretty? My hand's shaking real bad, so. All right, let's take this out. Now you can get a look at that. Ooh, that's a pretty dough. Move that out of the way. This is my favorite part, y'all. I love this. Ooh, look at it sink. All right, we're going to pull it off. I probably should have sprayed my pan so it didn't stick real bad. All right. Now we got to find the little... There it is. A little dough hook. Move that out of the way. Ooh, that is a sticky dough. No doubt about that. We're going to need this just a little bit. Let me get y'all up here just a little bit closer. Because we don't want it to be real sticky. And that is really sticky. Dough. Let me get my rolling pin. Some extra flour over here. bounces back like that, we're going to let it sit here and rest just a little bit. Let me grab my, oh I got my, this is the cutter that I'm going to use. And then that, this is a piping nozzle for frosting, but I'm going to use this to cut the center out with. So that'll make a nice little donut. Let me grab my pan, and I'm going to put these on after I get them rolled out and cut. And then I got a pan here for the little donut holes that we're going to get out of them. And you're supposed to roll this out to about a half inch thick. Yeah, that still hasn't rested long enough just yet. bigger rolling pins, what I think. Now, I ain't sure exactly how many donuts I'm going to get out of this. I The recipe that I'm using... I think the lady said you're supposed to get like two dozen, but she said she had never got that many. So, I don't know. We'll see. It's got an air pocket. Whoop. 
Turn back over there. Yeah, I think get flour everywhere. thinking we're pretty close to a half inch thick. All right. Dip that down in the flour. going to go around and cut these. I may have actually got that tooth in. Mm -hmm. yeah, I like them better this way. After I get these cut out, these are going to have to rise for another 40 minutes, I think, is what it said. All right, now we're going to come back with this one. And we're going to place these on the cookie sheet. Maybe. Place this over here. I think I got my dough too thin, but we'll see. But anyway, I'm going to continue this, and then we'll be right back. There's one pan. <coughs> These are the donut holes. And this is the other pan. I'm going to put these in my oven. I preheated my oven to 170 degrees and then I've shut it off so I'm going to put these in there and these have to rise for another 30 minutes so I'm going to put them in there cover them and we'll let them go and then we'll be back here in just a little bit the donuts are in the oven I've got my oil heating up so I'm fixing to take the donuts out but before that, I wanted to get the glaze made. Then I'm going to be dipping these things in. Y'all, these are going to be so good. I got a stick of butter, which is supposed to be a half a cup. I just had a half a cup measure. Half, half a cup of butter, melted butter, which is equivalent to one stick. Two cups of powdered sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla, and if you get a little more, what's it going to hurt? way I look at it. All right. And it calls for six tablespoons of evaporated milk.
Now this is evaporated milk. So we're going to use six tablespoons. There's one, two, three. We're going to start with four and see how this goes. Sloshing it everywhere, Mary. Having ants going everywhere. Let's add one more. Now, if you don't want your glaze to turn brown, use the clear vanilla, and then it'll stay white. Well, it might not with the butter. Never mind. I think that'll work. Set that aside. Set all this aside. Now we're going to go for a ride. Now they're not real consistent on size, but you know what? That's all right. Now let's see how much, how hot this oil is. Let's see if you turn the temperature thing on. You want your oil between 350 and 375. And this has still got a little ways to go on heating up. It's at 250. So we still got just a little bit before that oil is hot enough. So as soon as it gets hot there. <laughs> Y'all don't want to look at my fat stomach. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, as soon as this oil gets heated up, we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> All right, let's get down here and drop some of these in here and see how they're going to turn out. These two kind of fell apart. And we're only going to fry three at a time so that they don't get stuck together. And we're going to let them fry till they get golden brown on one side. Then we're going to flip them over and let them cook on the other. They don't take long, that's for sure. I hope these turn out good. And I got my glaze to dip them in. I'm going to drain them on some paper towels before I put them in that glaze. Too dark. All right, let's put a couple more in here.
Well, it sure don't take long for them to get done, that's for sure. And we're going to keep frying these, and then we'll be back. So y'all stick around. The donuts are done. Now, they don't look like what you get in a bakery. They are able to adjust their heat and keep it at a certain temperature. Cooking on a normal cook stove, you can't do that. So, but they are done. I think I may have overdid it. Look at them! They look good! Yummy delicious! This could be a problem for me. This is a little one. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this one. See, it's, it's just a little one. It's just covered in frosting, so don't look. Here we go. That's really good. Really good. That is definitely going to be a problem for me. Wow. Now, I will put the recipe that I used in the description box below. And... That finger looking good, y'all. Mm -hmm. Shame I don't drink coffee. Because I understand coffee and donuts is good, but I don't like coffee. So I'll stick with sweet tea. But there's my video for today. Homemade yeast donuts. I made the dough in my bread machine. Makes it way easier. Yeah. And it's 1.30. So I could probably take some of these to my husband's job. But. Yeah, I think I might. Get them out of the house. <laughs> Help! <laughs> oh, mercy. All right. To my new YouTube family members, thank y'all so much for joining my channel. And Jackie Roy, thank you so much. I just, girl, I love you to pieces. Jackie Roy is a young woman that I used to work with at Kentucky Fried Chicken at home. And my sister ran into her the other day, not literally ran into her, but they had a, a, a little surprise meeting. And my sister gave her my phone number and she called me. And I'm so glad she joined my channel, y'all. She going to find out how much I changed over the years. I got crazy. But don't we love it? <laughs> so, Jackie, welcome to my YouTube family. 
I deeply appreciate your help and support on my channel. But to the rest of you, welcome! I'm so glad y'all joined. You guys are the best. I had the best birthday this year that I've had in a long time. And I want to thank y'all so much. Y'all made it great for me. The birthday wishes and, and everything along, all the gifts that you sent me, you were so kind with your generosity. And I appreciate that. Let's us hope people know, hey, people out there still do love us. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to get off of here. And I'm going to take these donuts to my husband at his job. And let them enjoy them so I don't eat them because I end up in the emergency room in a diabetic coma. And I don't want that. So, God bless to each and every one of y'all. I pray that you have a beautiful afternoon. That your evening goes without a hitch. I pray that God strengthens you for another day. That when you lay down tonight, you get a restful peaceful sleep so that when you wake up in the morning, you wake up wide-eyed, bushy-tailed, and ready to meet a brand new day. And as I've said in past videos, with the brand new day comes a brand new start, a clean slate to do with as you see fit. Make the best of each and every moment because the Bible tells us we're not promised our next breath. But it's a blessing from God if you wake up in the morning. So be thankful for what you have. My husband's going to be thankful for these. I can tell you that. <laughs> but I love each and every one of y'all. And until we meet here again after a while for dinner, I ain't sure what I'm going to make. But it ain't going to be donuts. <laughs> y'all have a blessed afternoon.